Hi, I'm Nathan Outeridge and uh, I've had many questions over the number of years on moth sailing on how to rig it up. So I thought I'd just make a quick video here to demonstrate once you've got your boat it fully assembled, how to actually put it all together. So uh, first things first, you have all the kit in the boat here, got the sail, foils, rig. So the first thing you do is you pull out your sail, you roll it down the beach, get your two piece mast and you slot it together. And you'll see here on the mast that you've got to rotate it so that that aligns. Sometimes I put a bit of tape around it, um, but this one fits together quite nicely so I don't bother. You then go up the luff sleeve, not on the camps. You go all the way up, keeping it above the battens, not on the camps and then you get to the second button, it goes on the cam. Always make sure they're rotated the same way. And then to pop the cam on, you simply press on the sail and clip it on. Continue down the sail. When it's clipped on, zip it up, put the zip away. So you just proceed down the sail the whole way. Then you give it a pull, make sure that you get the spreader fitting out as well as the hounds fitting. Clip the next button on, last button, pull a firm, zip up all your cams. Then you lift the sail, and we're going to put it straight on the boat. So it sits quite nicely just on the boat there. You get your spreaders, untangle them because they're normally in a massive mess. You get to the top, it's one simple shackle. So make sure that bit's straight, keeping all the line. Okay, get all your fittings sorted. Here I've got a bolt with two nuts on it. Some people use a pin with a clevis pin, but I like to have a bolt with a double nut so I can lock it all up. Basically, put that bit in the gap. Bolt goes through with a bit of a jiggle. In she goes. Okay, so once we've got the sail on the mast, we've got the spreaders on, we've done our shackle up the top, it's time to lift it in. So we come up to the top here and I've got a boat bender. I just loop it through these wires and clip it on the pin. Normally sits there quite nicely. So once we've got the boat bender attached to the top, plug the side stays in to their holes. When you do this, it's important to ensure the pin goes in all the way. You do it on both sides. So it's a simple turnbuckle fitting into the pin, push it in, shot cord holds it. Make sure that you always have the mast step between the wires here. So it's important to keep sh this in between because when we go to stand her up here in a minute, you'll see why. So we lift the rig up and it's in the hole. So now we've got the rig up, we just pull a bit of tension on the uh, boat bender. We take the bonnet off and we feed the forestay through the hole. You'll see on mine, I didn't quite make my four stay long enough, so I just simply added some shackles. Not a major. Down here we've got the four stay tang. Split ring. Get this bolt out. You pull on your four stay tension a bit more. And you pin it in. Split ring goes on. Bonnet covers all the gearing adjustment and wand adjustment. So now we've got the four stay on. Next stage is to hook the Cunningham up. So I have a shackle on the bottom of the sail here. And I just basically undo it, give the sail a bit of a pull down the rig and shackle goes straight through the block. I always put the Cunningham on first to ensure that once it's tight, you take the slack by just pulling on the Cunningham 
and that way it keeps the cams on the rig because people have a lot of problems cams falling off the mast so if you can get the Cunningham tension on the, the cams will stay. Next step is to put the boom on. It's a simple bolt at the front. I run my Cunningham inside the boom using a CST mast and boom. Plenty big hole and the bolt goes straight through. And don't forget, always do the bolt up nice and tight so it doesn't come undone out there. I run an eight mil bolt because often the six mil bolts will bend and elongate the holes in the boom. All right, to the back of the boat. Okay, so now we've got the boom on the front of the mast, Cunningham hooked up, it's time to get the outhaul on. I have this little rope strop, goes around the boom with a ball on the end of it. I lift the boom up and put the ball through the hole. So that locks it down and then we do the shackle for the outhaul control. Try to think, keep things as simple as possible, less chance of things breaking. Okay, so the next part from here is we've got it rigged. We want to get it on its side and the foils in the boat. So once it's on its side, I normally put a little knot in the main sheet. What that does is holds the boom up. There's wind on the sail, so it keeps it on its side. So it's not going to blow up. And we see the wind straight behind me, always blowing onto the sail, keeping it on the ground. So it'll be safe here. It's not going to blow away. So now it's on its side and secure, we're going to get the trolley off. So I come to the top of the rig, unclip the top of the boat bender. I just walk around, gather it all up. And I just tie it around the leg, back through itself. All right, so I'm just about to take the trolley off. So I'm going to take my thongs off, my jandals for the Kiwis or flip-flops for Americans. So then when I do take the trolley off, I'm not going to scratch the bow. So we come back, just unclip from underneath the wings. You lift the boat, front comes off, bow goes down and pull the back off. Okay, so we're now here. It's time to put the foils in the boat. I try to keep the foils in their bags as long as possible. One, because they get really hot in the sun if you leave them out. And two, on sandy beaches, the last thing you want to sandal through the foils. So I just undo the top part, and you'll notice here we've got two bolts to basically make. So we take the pin out, and then we've got this other bolt here, which locks the tiller in. So basically, slide this in until the holes line up here. Pin goes through. That pin goes in there. I always keep that in, because as you know, there's a twist tube on the tiller. We don't want that to be spinning. So I just leave it in so it doesn't get twisted. So tiller goes under the shock cord, goes forward. We lift the rudder up. Pin goes through, done. Ring on, she sits there. It's also quite often important to keep this universal joint as straight as possible. Often people store them folded over and when you're going sailing, the stiffness of this is really important. So I always try to keep it as straight as I can. That's why I take the tiller off every day. Okay, next we stick in the main foil. So it's important to have this a nice snug fit. So once you stick the foil in, you need a good tap. Then you walk around and pin it in. It's as simple, put the pin through. I always run the front hole in the Mac 2. Don't know why, it just seems to work. Probably something AMAC told me once. So it's pinned in, then you get your right heart adjuster sorted. Simple clip on to the ball, and you're done. Now we're ready to go sailing. Time to go get the wetsuit on. <laughs>